Fourteen-year-old Saeed Kabalawi was arrested in the village of Abu Dis in the occupied West Bank on August the 28th. He says he had gone to the shops to buy milk for his baby sister. The Israeli military accused him of throwing stones at their vehicles as they passed. Saeed says he was just trying to run away. After he threw me in the jeep, all of his soldiers started beating me. They took me to the military camp. They forced me to stand against a wall. They blindfolded me and punched me in the face, beating my head. He says the soldiers hit him with their rifle butts. In the military camp, the beatings continued. They threatened to shoot me or unleash the dogs on me. One of them headbutted me with his helmet. They came in one by one. They beat me, cursed me, spat on me, and threatened to kill me. Said's family insisted his injuries were photographed. Human rights organizations have highlighted his case because it's particularly extreme. But they say Israeli security forces regularly abuse the young people they arrest. Behind me is the Israeli military camp where Said says he was taken and beaten for four hours. Now the organization Defense for Children International says that every year around 700 minors between the ages of 12 and 17 are arrested in the West Bank and then tried in Israeli military courts. Most Palestinian youths are arrested for throwing stones at clashes like this one at the Columbia crossing on the West Bank. If a Palestinian youth with Israeli identity papers is arrested for rock throwing in Israel or occupied East Jerusalem, he gets access to Israeli civilian juvenile law. But it's a very different story for those with Palestinian identity papers arrested on the West Bank. A Palestinian in the West Bank, on the other hand, is subject to military law. They've been subjected to military law for the last 45 years. And under that system of law, the child or adult has far fewer um, procedural protections um, and uh, such as the um, seeing a lawyer, uh, having a parent present during questioning, etc., etc. Um, so it's a far harsher system. A spokesman for the Israeli military told Al Jazeera that youths were tried in military courts because the occupied West Bank is under Israeli military law. Said is scheduled to face an Israeli military court in January next year. He's not yet been officially charged. But he faces the prospect of being taken from the occupied West Bank to a jail inside Israel, an act which is itself against international law. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera, Abu Dis, the occupied West Bank.